Hi there, this animation will describe how weight cells are counted and sized using the impedance method that was first described by Wallace Coulter back in the 1950s. This technique is still employed in many of the automated hematology analyzers that are available in the market even until now. The Coulter counter exploits the change of electrical resistance that occurs as a particle is passed through an aperture that separates two chambers containing a conductive fluid. A particle, in this case a red cell, is lined up and passed through the aperture concurrent with an electric current. As the red cell passes through the aperture, it creates a change in resistance and therefore the impedance. This change in impedance is proportional to the volume of the red cell passing through it. The pulses and the size of the pulse wave is integrated and fed into a computer which can plot the data on a histogram. From this histogram, when one can count the number of events, which is the red cell count for a given volume. The mean value of the histogram provides an estimate of the mean size of the red cells. This is referred to as the mean cell volume or MCV. Cells with the smaller diameter would appear as events that are on the left of the histogram, um, i.e. being of low MCV, while the larger cells will be plotted on the right of the histogram, and this would appear as high MCV. Therefore, a low MCV would denote microcytosis while a high MCV would denote macrocytosis. A large variation in cell size with small cells and large cells entering the sensing zone will result in a histogram with a very spread out appearance. Using statistical methods, the computer can calculate the degree of uh, variation based on the standard deviation of the plot. And this is referred to as the rate distribution width. An increase in RDW would denote rate cell anisocytosis. 